Just as Jesus died and is risen again, so through Jesus God will bring with him those who have fallen asleep. As in Adam all die, so also in Christ all will be brought to life. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Well, today we celebrate All Souls Day, the companion after All Saints Day, and it follows, if you look in our bulletin, All Hallowtide, beginning with Halloween or All Halloween, All Hallows Eve on October 31st, All Saints Day, and today the All Souls throughout the world. So as you begin the Mass, just remember all those people that have graced you in your life, those that are family members, those that are friends, those that have gone before us, and today is their day that we pray for all of them and all throughout the month of November. A day set aside to care for the all souls goes back to 988 and was accepted by Rome in the 13th century. So for many, many centuries, this has been a sacred time of the church year to remember the faithful departed. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you have shown us the way to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you have given us the consolation of the truth. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the good shepherd leading us into eternal life. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Listen kindly to our prayers, O Lord, and as our faith in your Son raised from the dead is deepened, so may our hope of resurrection for your departed servants also find new strength. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. The souls of the just are in the hand of God, and no torment shall touch them. They seemed, in the view of the foolish, to be dead, and their passing away was thought an affliction, and their going forth from us utter destruction. But they are in peace, for if before men indeed they be punished, yet is their hope full of immorality. immortality. Chastised a little, they shall be greatly blessed, because God tried them and found them worthy of himself. As gold in the furnace, he proved them, and as sacrificial offerings, he took them to himself. In the time of their visitation, they shall shine and shall dart about as sparks through stubble. They shall judge nations and rule over peoples, and the Lord shall be their king forever. Those who trust in him shall understand truth, and the faithful shall abide with him in love, because grace and mercy are with his holy ones, and his care is with his elect. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. Lord, Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. In verdant pastures, he gives me repose. Beside restful waters, he leads me. He refreshes my soul. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. He guides me in right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk in the dark valley, I fear no evil. For you are at my side with your rod and your staff that give me courage. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. You spread the table before me in the sight of my foes. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. 
Only goodness and kindness follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord for years to come. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. Please stand. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the crowds, Everything that the Father gives me will come to me, and I will not reject anyone who comes to me, because I came down from heaven not to do my own will, but the will of the one who sent me. And this is the will of the one who sent me that I should not lose anything of what he gave me, but I should raise it up on the last day. For this is the will of my Father, that everyone who sees the Son and believes in him may have eternal life, and I shall raise him up on the last day. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. You know, today's a a beautiful day to me, All Souls Day, to remember those that that work very tirelessly in my life and those around us, um, to build up our church, build up our neighborhoods, when it comes to our parish, build up our town. And today we hear a passage from the gospel that tells us, I will not forget about them, but whoever is sent to my son, whoever believes in me, I will raise up on the last day. They will not be forgotten. I think in our life we live where everything's so fast-paced and we we try and move on to the next agenda, the next thing. And one of the beauties of this day that's gone back over, you know, a thousand years is to remember those that have gone before us, that we will not be in this world forever, but that Jesus will be in the world forever. He is the Alpha and the Omega of our faith. And we have to remember those people that helped hand down our beautiful Catholic faith that brings us to the church this day. Those that we love that have gone before us. Those that really made a difference in our lives and those around us. And that those lives mattered. And that they matter today in this world. Our economy is such that if you're not a productive asset, it is thrown out or kicked to the curb. But when it comes to human life, we are bound for the next world. That's why we bury the dead. That's why we go to cemeteries. That's why we pray for the faithful departed in every mass that we celebrate. Because we unite heaven and earth this day and every time that we gather at mass. So today, let's live a life that makes people proud. The people that went before us, the people that showed us true love, that showed us true graciousness, that showed us the beauty of the next world. And let us know that as they go back to God, they go back to Christ, a merciful Father, who teaches us in this gospel that everyone belongs to me. And if you think of the beauty of our baptism, when we're baptized, we're marked for for Christ. And in John's gospel, we hear that whoever is sent sent to Christ, that he will raise up. This is part of the bread of life discourse. And what we hear in John's gospel, chapter six, is whoever eats my body and drinks my blood has life everlasting. So always come to this mass. Never forget the beauty of the mass. Never forget the beauty of our faith because it can get lost sometimes in a busy, challenging world. I will remember one of the family members that died um, during the course of the year. His name is Fran Lafferty, and many of you know him. But he told his son before he died that when his family came over from Scotland, all they had was their faith. And he told his son, never ever lose that faith. And I think if we all just remember that even today, 
It gives glory and praise to a name that's right on that, that board there. But it also shows us the beauty of the gospel because that is Christ's teaching. Our faith is what sets us free. Our faith is what allows us to link to the next world. Our faith is what gives us hope for the dawning of a new day. And that's what All Souls Day is all about. That Christ will raise up those on the last day. And every time that we gather at Mass, we get a piece of that next world. And we unite in a banquet like all the people that have gone before us. We unite in a timeless banquet sacrifice of the Lord. And today we know that our loved ones are watching over us and they're guiding us. May we live a life that would make them well pleased and live a life that at the end of our life, God will say, well done, my good and faithful servant. You took the gifts that you had, you took the time in this world, and you helped let the kingdom of God be found. That's the beauty of all souls. They matter. So remember today your loved ones and live a life that would make them proud. Please rise now for the intercessions. With hope in the resurrection, we present our needs and the needs of the world to the Father. For the church throughout the world, for you and I, the church that exists on this earth that unites to heaven, May we be purified and sanctified through the grace and mercy of God every day of our lives. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That our faith life may never be forgotten and that the gospel may be proclaimed to the entire world through word and deed, by the way we order our lives and by the example of the faithful, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the people that we've lost at any time in our life, all the tears we've shed, all the loves that they shared, all those things that continue on to eternity. May we who mourn, because we remember all the faithful departed today, may we be consoled by God in our grief and be made confident in the hope of the resurrection that we hear in this gospel for all of our loved ones and hopefully one day ourselves that we all may reunite again. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us gathered here today, may we continue to grow in charity and love for one another and just work to be bridge builders and build that unity so that the kingdom of God may be found here on this earth. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, remember in a special way Anna Caprietto, whose funeral is going to be celebrated at 10 o'clock today at Our Lady of the Sacred Heart. For Catherine Montes, for Richard Ozarczyk, for um, Michael Wardinsky, and for all the faithful departed. We remember in a special way at this Mass, Paul J. Fusco, Jr. We pray for his wife, Beverly, for their children, their grandchildren. Um, Paul was a guy that would say to Bev over and over again how much he loves her, and that's a love of Christ that brought them together in marriage and continues linking them in this Mass. And we pray for all the parishioners of St. John, the 23rd parish as well, living and deceased. So for Paul and also the deceased members of our parish and all the faithful departed, we remember in a special way our own loved ones. May they be raised with Christ and may we meet him again. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for those prayers that we voice now in the silence of our hearts. And we make these prayers through the intercession of St. Joseph. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father, you sent your Son to reconcile us to yourself. Hear our prayers and answer them, we ask, in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Through the mystery of this water and wine, we come to share the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Wash me, Lord, from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sins. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all, his holy church. Look favorably on our offerings, O Lord, so that your departed servants may be taken up into glory with your Son, in whose great mystery of love we are all united, who lives and reigns, forever and ever. Amen. This is the preface that said at every funeral that we celebrate, the Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. In him the hope of blessed resurrection has dawned, that though saddened by the certainty of dying, might be consoled by the promise of immortality to come. Indeed, for your faithful Lord, life is changed, not ended. And when this earthly dwelling turns to dust, an eternal dwelling is made ready for them in heaven. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. O Son of the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. O Son of the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Michael, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your departed servants, whom you have called from this world to yourself. 
Grant that they who are united with your Son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us to stay our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. In our own indirect way, let us offer each other a sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
our novena for our confirmation candidates. Come, Spirit of Holiness, send forth the radiance of your light. Father of all the poor, light and peace of all hearts, come with your countless gifts. May your gift of understanding enlighten our confirmation candidates to grasp better Christ's love for them and show them how to love others as he loves them. May they show their love by serving others. Come, O Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and kindle in them the fire of your love. I am the resurrection and the life, says the Lord. Whoever believes in me, even though he dies, will live. And everyone who lives and believes in me will not die forever. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that your departed servants, for whom we have celebrated the, this Paschal Sacrament, may pass over to a dwelling place of light and peace through Christ our Lord. Amen. After Mass today, we'll pray the uh, glorious mysteries of the Rosary. Joan, if you could lead that as a Wednesday. And uh, tonight I want to remind you that uh, is our All Souls Day Mass for all the faithful departed. Um, you're welcome to double dip, I would say, come to the 8.30, but also come back for the 7 o'clock. It's really a very, very nice Mass to remember all those that have gone before us. And people that have recently lost loved ones, they certainly would enjoy your support too. So we really all pray together, no matter what year your loved ones passed away, but in a special way, we'll remember those over these last, these la this last year. The Lord be with you. Bow down for the blessing. May the God of all consolation bless you. For in his unfathomable goodness, he created the human race. And in the resurrection of his only begotten son, he has given believers the hope of rising again. Amen. To us who are alive, may God grant pardon for our sins. And to all the dead, a place of light and peace. Amen. So may we all live happily forever with Christ whom we believe truly rose from the dead. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God.